You wonder. People who you've been good to, you've helped them, helped their children, and you wonder, then you have to encourage yourself in the Lord. So our disposition, if you are not able to do that, then chances are you live a life of bitterness because you have a list of people. I helped this man. I helped that company. I was a member of this board. When they started, they were using my backyard. It was my chairs that I lent them. You have all these things in your mind, and you don't move forward. You know, she had no money, and I lent her. My cousin picked her at Gatwick. My uncle picked him in New York. Now he's forgotten. You know, people talk like that, and they carry tons of bitterness following them. You can't do that. You've got to release people and move on. And so our disposition is important. Our behavior is important. Then also, really, in terms of disposition, there are what I call impulsiveness. Sometimes there are people who just make decisions without thinking. It looks good, so let's do it. It sounds good, let's do it. It tastes good, let's eat it. It smells good, let's go for it. You know, the deal is so good, let's take it now. You know, in, 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 in the church language, we call it breakthrough. You know, let's take it quick. Sometimes we've got to be very careful because most people who are impulsive and impetuous get into trouble. You know, one of the things I learned is that when you are under pressure and tension and you want to put me under pressure and tension, your tension is not my tension. I mean, that's, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes you say, come on, do it now, come on, do it now, come on, do it now, and, you know, and, you know, and they aggravate you. So if, for example, you are unfortunately like a heart patient, you, they can kill you. And you are dying not because your heart was overworked for something you were doing. You are were, you were dying care of somebody else. So we can be impulsive. Neither can we get into inactivity. Sometimes there are people who just complain, but they do nothing. They do nothing. I think recently I had a statement being made um, um, from, from as high up as it gets here that even if there were diamonds on the floor, people would want to wait for the diamonds to come and meet them at home. It never works like that anywhere. As a matter of fact, if we were working hours and performance targets and we were being paid per hour, I think we'll be better off for it because it's like you, you get what you clock in. And so inactivity, impulsiveness. And before we finish tonight's session, I want to talk about the blame game and the victim mentality. And, and we all know this. I, you know, I can get to my golden jubilee. I can get to any jubilee and be upset and blame this person and the system, and this happened, and the currency dropped, and this wasn't there. You know, but that's not going to change because it's not only me affected. And there are other people affected who are doing something. So what we have to do is learn to upgrade. I want to stop here and continue next week, but I want to mention a scripture verse which I will pick up from next week. It's in the last book of the Bible, and that's the book called Revelation. And it's a story where God speaks about um, a church set in a particular, particular group of people who had done so well, but he told them that just one thing that I have against you, you have done this. So he gave them three R's. He said, remember from the place where you fell, repent from what you fell in, and re um, return or do. And so when we get to Jubilee and we're wondering, have we done well as a nation, as a people? Let's remember maybe where we made national or individual mistakes and change. Repent means to change because the same things will give you the same results. And then we return. And so I'll pick up from here next week by God's grace where we look at remembering, repenting, and returning. Until I come your way next week, by the grace of God, this is Pastor Forbes saying have a good week and God bless us all. Good night.
going to do? To think of something. What morning. happened? Smell my mom. It's already morning. What? Hey, Sila. Who was that? No one. Then why is the door locked? It's a normal habit to close the door when you're sleeping, I guess. Then open the door. I have given up everything. Everything for this family. So this is the chance that I get? No, cut the drama. So, what happened to the man I need? You! You! What happened? How are we going to help you? I am Honorable Mozambo. Don't even start. Noons of Gold, a captivating African drama series showing on GRTS every Monday at 10.30 p.m.